Why or did I not tell you it was pointless? No one will go out with her. Hey, and hey, what about him? Him? No, don't, don't, don't look at him, okay? He's a criminal. I heard he lit a state trooper on fire. He just did a year in San Quentin. Yeah, well then at least he's horny. I'm serious, man, he's whacked. He sold his own liver on the black market for a new set of speakers. He's our guy. And welcome everyone back to the channel. I am Zach, your host here on the Yo Bro Nation YouTube channel. And today I am reviewing 10 things I hate about you. I don't hate you. I love all of you. But I am going to talk about this movie. This movie that came back that came out back in 1999, of course starring Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger and Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Larissa Olenek. Uh, who are teenagers in Washington in a really big-ass expensive high school, and you have teen drama. What is the story? Well, it's it's actually quite simple. It's a movie about a dude who gets paid to date Cat Strafford, loosely based off of um, a, a uh, William Shakespeare uh, story, sonnet, whatever you want to call it. It's loosely based... Uh, Taming of the Shrew, I believe, is, and it's even name-dropped in the movie, but uh, loosely based off of that, uh, of course, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Julia Stiles plays Cat Strafford, a teenager who's kind of a bit of a recluse, but also at times considered a bit of a bitch. And she is being courted by um, Heath Ledger's Patrick Verna after he's approached by... Um, Andrew Keegan's Joey Donner, who is the douche of this movie, because he wants to take young Bianca, Kat's younger sister, out on a date to, well, he wants to do dirty teenage things that we won't actually talk about. So, yes, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, Cameron, and his friend, uh, Michael, played by David Krumholtz, who was on Monday Night Raw just, just this past week. <sighs> Can we not? Can we not talk about that? Can we please not talk about that? Uh, but they approach Cameron or Joey to do this because Cameron also wants to date Bianca. So they get Patrick to date Kat. So that way, because their dad's got a rule: no dates until you are like forty. Good advice. I would definitely say yes to that if it were my children. So, yeah, basically they go out on a date, and as it happens in these teen dramas of the 90s, somewhere along the way, the weird, nerdy girl who no one really likes ends up falling for the bad boy who ends up falling for her. It's formulaic, sure, and it happens a lot in these movies, but something about this movie felt like it went a little deeper and maybe it's just me i do have a soft spot for this movie it was something that i really enjoyed as a child when i was growing up and i was watching it i really did i enjoyed this movie a lot i even dressed up as much as i could to my 1990s look um but it, it feels like the story has a deeper deeper meaning and it's got a lot of really good characters from miss perky who's this really weird guidance counselor who's really horned up trying to write a book and even uses the kids ideas at points to put in things in her book hey it's weird then you get the freaking um the teacher for their poetry class mr um morgan morgan i believe played by daryl mitchell i could be wrong He's in it. He's hilarious. He gives no fucks. When it comes to Joey, he's just straight up savage. Like, Joey gets his eye punched by Cat at one point, and he makes fun of him for that. And then you get um, Mandela, I believe is her name. Mandela. She is the friend of Cat, and she's really sweet. And her and Michael kind of start a thing. He even goes as far as being very Shakespearean for her to get her to go to the prom. And then you get Chastity, played by Gabrielle Union, who, my goodness... 
looking at her in this movie, you're like, this thing, she's not going to do much. No, she was very underrated for this movie, but she is such a bitch. She is very much like, what can I do to become more popular? And she's all for whatever Joey Donner wants to do. So much that she actually turns Bianca off to her. But by, by day's end, Bianca very much starts to fall for Cameron. So they do become a thing. And of course, things come out. Uh, during the prom when everyone's finally there that hey i've been paying you money patrick to date her why am i not here with bianca so everything blows up and you knew you knew that was what was going to happen right you, you, you knew it was going to eventually come to that and it does but even before that you get this really awesome scene of patrick on this big ass fucking like NFL size stadium football field. And he's up there singing, I love you, baby. And it's great. It's nice. Yeah. And you can see even before all this, you could tell he was starting to actually get to like her. And yes, the dad's very overbearing at times, almost comically overbearing. But again, I just, I really enjoyed this movie. You know, I've watched it, you know, a lot. I've watched it a lot. It has flaws. It does have flaws. There are points where there are arguments or things that are being said that are just so outlandish. No parent would ever do this. And I can say that now as a parent, there are things that this father does that I just wouldn't do. He is very, um, very overprotective, which I get as a parent. But to the point of, they're just going to a party and he makes her wear the uh, the pregnancy suit to where she looks big and it makes you know, I want you to remember this when you make your decisions later. Like to him, all boys are just gonna try to get her. And yes, Joey Donner is one of those boys who would probably do this. Another thing that I see in this movie that kind of bugs me is just as much as I laugh at it now and did even then, is how some of the staff are. No no way teachers would get away with this. At least I feel that way, and I could be wrong. So it's just some things, albeit it's a movie, uh, is kind of unrealistic. And people are complicated, right? And this is a movie where you have your defined groups of people. You're, it, it, they literally walk you through in the movie. You have the jocks. You have the, you know, the geek, the techies. You have, you know, you have your set groups of people in this school, your cliques, you could say. And, and no doubt, they're right, you do have your cliques. But sometimes those cliques do intermingle. It does happen. But in this movie, no. It, you, why are you even talking to me in the hallway? You can't be seen with me. Where people are like, hey, I'll do this for you if you talk to me when I'm in the hallway cool by association yeah as much as yeah that is does exist i think to the degree of which they make these people like they're just set in their ways and yes kids in high school are stupid i think at points they take it too far almost to the point of unrealistic and that's one of my biggest gripes about this and some of the music to me wasn't great i look back at a lot of these movies whether it be goonies or rent which i have a review coming up shortly on that music is something i remember this the music wasn't as good but the characters are memorable the story is very memorable and it's a very heartwarming charming story yes it is a bit ridiculous at times like cat coming into after school detention and flashing a teacher for patrick to get out and she had no consequences none so you know How'd you, how'd you distract him anyways? I charmed him with my wits. <laughs> it was funny and it was cute and I, I like it. So I, I give this movie a nine, a nine out of 10. I, and I do, I give a lot of these movies uh, high scores, but this is also a movie I'm very fond of and is a very nostalgic movie. I was this demographic when this movie came out. So obviously... But if you want to look at your lead actors, they're awesome. You want to look at the supporting character actors, they are awesome. They probably made what a high school party is really like, but amped it up to 10. And it's great. It's just a good movie. Everyone in this movie, you look, you could tell they were having fun filming it. I loved it. I hope you all liked it. 
Um, but that's gonna do that's that's gonna do it for me on this review. But before I go, a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, follow us on all our social media, Twitter, Facebook, both down in the description below. You can also, uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Speaking of friends, let's support some of our friends. My buddy Jake, he is back. He's on the road. He is back to work. So let's support him. My buddy Jake Capone, he comes on the channel a lot. The Hitman, he is taking bookings. If you're a wrestling person and you know people who might be in the wrestling business or you are someone yourself, he's, he's, he's not accepting bookings. He's getting them. He's starting to get some bookings, but you can get him at thehitmanjakecapone at gmail.com or on Twitter and Instagram at both the Jake Capone. Let's go help him out. And I'm going to continue to um, push this as long as I possibly can. Uh, this is probably the last time I'll even mention this. But the Exalted One, Exalted in Heaven, AEW, the shirts are still available. If you can, just jump on there. And go ahead and get the shirt. All proceeds go to the family. So if you can help them out, that would be fantastic. So want to thank everyone for jumping in and watching this video. January, another good month. Thank you to all the new subscribers who have subscribed to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. But with all that being said, remember, stay safe. Stay healthy, and above all else, join the nation. I'll see you guys later. Yo Bro Nation! Join us at tpublic.com forward slash Yo Bro Nation for our all new merch lineup. Like the recess still ain't old. The Yo Bro Nation entertainment t shirt, the sidekick Susie Stranger Things shirt pretty sweet shirt the yo bro nation swirly shirt how about i love yo face sidekick suzy t-shirt Ooh, or the rainbow sidekick suzy shirt yeah, yeah. also this exclusive limited time offer we got a forever serenity special sale <sighs> look at that isn't that pretty cool i think it's pretty awesome hope for ambi special sale help support a friend who really needs the help Three different t-shirt designs. We got the Hope for Ambi Black Angel t-shirt. The Hope for Ambi Do You Want to Beat Up Cancer t-shirt. Wow, that's pretty nice. So yes, shop with us now at tpublic.com forward slash yo bro nation. Get all your shirts, stay safe, stay healthy, and above else, join the nation.